Hello, everybody, and happy Chinese New Year! Gong Si Fa Chai. Today is the eve of Chinese New Year, and I just happened to receive a watch, a Chinese watch from China. So I think it's matching the occasion for the celebration. So let's do a quick unboxing video here. What do we have here? Ta-da! So it's my first San Martin, or I heard somebody call it San Martin. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, but to me, it sounds like San Martin. I don't know. I could be wrong. So I'm surprised they throw in um, this screwdriver, spring bar tool, and uh, what is this? I don't know. I guess I will have to open it up to see what's inside. But let's take a look at what I got for myself. So um, this is my very first Saint, Saint, Saint Martin watch. So I'm pretty excited uh, about it. Let's open up and see what we have. Ooh, okay, I can already see the watch here. I hope you guys can see that. Um, did I forgot to turn on the light? I think I did forgot, so okay. It's a San Mar San Martin warranty card. Um, here you have like a Chinese. You flip it over. You have the usual user manual. It's uh, okay in English and Chinese as well. And oh yeah, that's the warranty card. Um, twenty twenty one uh sixth of February. Yeah, it took a couple of days for it to reach here. And it's quite nice. Uh, for them to put the effort to you know make the accessories. Uh, looks like um, I, I wouldn't say legit but looks quite um, up class <laughs> if that's the word so yeah this is what I've got for myself all right it's um, I cannot remember the model number do they have it here um, they don't have anything here what they have here okay so I believe it's SN004G if I'm not mistaken if I'm wrong I'm just gonna put somewhere in the video or the description box you know and this one uh, a lot of people are calling it the uh, an homage to the Rolex uh, that was uh, launched in 1953 if I'm not mistaken but I look at it more as uh, I don't know it's a combination of uh, homage for a Rolex and also maybe the Tudor Black B58 because of its dimension is uh, gilded dial and the gold accented uh, bezel. So let's uh, unwrap some wrappings and take a closer look at the watch. So I'm back with the watch. I've uh, peeled off all the wrappers and stickers that has uh, always got me into a bit of a mess, you know, to trying to remove them. So that is why I uh, did not do it uh, in front of a camera this time. So I'm just gonna use some um, hand sanitizer to give the watch a wipe to make sure that you know it is all clean and germ free so this is the watch so mm -hmm, it comes with a screw down screw down crown excuse me and um, well first impression um, for the price I think it's okay the finishing can be a little better and you, know, you can see that the brushing here there seems to be some um, unevenness but for the price I would say it's acceptable all right so let's play around with the bezel okay it is um, tight but still workable and I think there is no back play at all which is a plus for a watch of this price so um, I got this from Aliexpress uh, from the official um, San Martin Aliexpress shop so um, you can just go Aliexpress and look for that and you'll know the price uh, I think they are having some kind of a lunar new year or Chinese new year discount so I I got it at uh, a discounted price so let's unscrew the crown and give it a couple of wine to see if it's moving okay so um, alright and just make sure that uh, everything is okay I'm just gonna try to set the time to 10.10 10. 
Well, uh, this is a no date uh, version of the watch, so I guess they are using NH35 that has a ghost date position. Well, uh, this happens a lot if you are buying like a lot of uh, micro brand watches or some affordable kind of watch because uh, NH35 it's kind of um, a more common uh, movement that uh, a lot of these micro brands or affordable affordable brands uh, like to use. So what do we have here besides the case? Um, it comes with um, sort of like an oysterling bracelet. And well, this is uh, not only my first San Martin, but also my first watch with what you call a full riveted bracelet. So I'm pretty excited about the watch because uh, not because of the brand, but because mostly of how it looks. Uh, to me, I have always wanted the Black Bay 58, but you know, I was always on the fence whether should I get one because I already have the Black Bay 36. So yeah, this one is kind of like, um, I would say like a trial or beta testing for me to see if I like this kind of colorway. I know that the Black Bay 58 comes with a matte aluminum insert and this one, they come, it comes with um, a glossy uh, ceramic insert. I do wish that um, the ceramic insert, they went with the matte version. I mean, for the ceramic, you don't always have to go glossy. You can go for a matte or matte ceramic insert that pr provides that durability that you want, the scratch resistance that you want, but it wouldn't look that uh, glossy. But so far, um, I think it's still okay. And I believe the watch crystal comes with uh, an anti-reflective coating. Well, uh, it's kind of a dome crystal, so even with anti-reflective coating, you still have some kind of a reflection. And the bracelet, well, it tapers down quite a lot. I am not sure about the measurement. I will make me uh, will measure it in the full review, but it sort of sort of gives this watch a vintage appeal, which I like. Um, okay, one thing that could be a problem could be the fixed uh, mid-link of the end link, but um, maybe it's still workable on my small wrist because of the small watch dimension. I'm sorry, I, I'm lazy to pull my phone or camera away, so you have to make do of this in your face kind of a watch. All right, so um, I'm going to size this up and enjoy the watch over the course of my Chinese New Year holidays here in Malaysia. And maybe after a month or two or several weeks, it depends, I will come back with a full review of this video, giving you all my thoughts and opinion about this little watch here. All right, thanks for staying around. And uh, if you're celebrating, have a great and uh, prosperous Chinese New Year and stay safe and make sure that you try to follow all the instructions that your healthcare provider or your country government provided to make sure that you don't spread COVID-19 around. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.